We're demonstrating the clean off feature on the Oblist magnetic sweeper. Each side of the sweeper has these release handles that you push down on to flip the tray out to get the debris to fall off. We're going to demonstrate here. We're just going to throw some metal debris on. And he's going to push down on the handle over here. And there the magnet's cleaned off. So we've just done that with a little bit of stuff here to demonstrate how it works. But you want to go and flip that back up. This tray pivots from end to end on this stainless steel tube. It also has a stainless steel tray on the bottom and it's connected by these pieces here on the ends that make it very rigid. So when you're pushing down on this, the other end moves exactly with the end that you're pushing on so that you don't have a really flimsy debris tray. I've seen some other models where if you push on the release tray the whole tray peels out almost a half an inch or an inch before the other end starts moving. One feature I also want to point out is that this debris tray is held up by its own magnets. A lot of debris trays what they'll do is they'll weld a steel bar into the stainless steel pan on the bottom and that steel bar will stick to your main magnet. My problem with that is as soon as you get a piece of steel stuck to this magnet that magnet now is focused on that piece of steel that's holding this tray up rather than another magnet that's stuck to something else that does not distract the magnetic field from the main magnet. So with our design we've got these rare earth magnets on the outside here that stick to the handles and what that does is that makes sure there's absolutely no interference from other metal in the debris stripping tray taking power away from your magnet.